guys, Alex, Aaron, and Jonathan here, and today we are going to be making a video on what guinea pigs eat, what we feed our guinea pigs, how much of it we feed them, and when we feed them. So, let's get started with the video. I hope you like it. Fruit or veggie number one? Celery! So, for our guinea pigs, we have four of them, and we, you're supposed to feed one sixth of a stalk per pig. So, that is four sixths of a stalk, which is about one whole stalk for our guinea pigs. And you're supposed to feed them one to two times a week with for celery. And the, the bad thing about celery is that it's low in vitamin C. And, but it's high in oxalates, which is also bad. And they cannot make their own vitamin C, so they need to get vitamin C from other fruits or vegetables. But since celery doesn't have a lot of fruits or veg, uh, doesn't have a lot of vitamin C, it's not very good for them. And just so you know, an oxalate is what happens when oxalate acid and calcium comes together, and it creates an oxalate, which can cause bladder stones, which are very painful. And cel celery is relative, relatively cheap from the store, which you can buy. Fruit or veggie number two. Goat members! So we feed our guinea pigs eight slices or one and a half cups of cucumbers per guinea pigs. So, and we feed them three to four times a week for cucumbers. And the good thing about cucumbers is that they're low in sugar, but the bad thing is that they're also very low in vitamin C. And during the summer, they're an excellent vegetable to give your guinea pigs because they're very watery. So it gives your guinea pigs extra hydration when it's very hot and humid. The third fruit or veggie, bell pepper! So we feed our guinea pigs one cup of bell peppers per pig, and this is five to seven times a week. So that means you can feed it to them every day. So bell peppers is a really healthy vegetable for your guinea pigs, and they love it. It's sweet, and they just love it. So you can feed them every color of the bell peppers, and but as you know, the yellow bell pepper has the most nutrients. So all the bell peppers have lots of vitamin C, which makes them really healthy. But too much of these bell peppers can lead to diarrhea, vomiting, and bloating, which is not good. And the also another bad thing about these bell peppers is that they're really expensive. So if you want a fruit or veggie that you can feed them almost every day that's really healthy and that they love, keep watching this video. <coughs> I bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we always get air in there? Sneezing. The fourth fruit or veggie that we will be talking about in this video is... Carrots! So we feed our guinea pigs one cup of carrots per pig, and that is two to four times a week. Now, they love carrots, and carrots are very healthy too, because they contain vitamin A and vitamin C. And they're, like I said, very healthy for your guinea pigs. But too much of these carrots can lead to diarrhea, so they should be fed moderately. And they also have lots of sugar in them, which means that it can have too much sugar for your guinea pigs, so like I said, feed them moderately. Now, in the summer at our house, we grew carrots, and we had our own carrot plants, so we, you can grow your own carrots and give them to your guinea pig.
The fifth fruit or veggie that we are going to be talking about in this video is zucchini. So we feed our guinea pigs one cup of zucchini per pig, and that is five to seven times a week. And like I said, so you can change out the zucchini for the bell peppers, and zucchini is relatively cheap, and you can grow your own. So during the summer, like I said about the carrots, we grew our own zucchini too. So you can grow your own zucchini and give it to your piggies. So zucchini is very high in vitamin C, but you also have to feed it to them moderately. And it also has lots of vitamin B6, vitamin K, and vitamin A. But too much can lead to bladder stones, which do hurt them a lot. The sixth fruit or veggie that we're going to be talking about in this video is ah! oh. So we feed our guinea pigs one leaf of kale per pig and you can get them a nice big large leaf and this is three to four times a week and kale is very rich in vitamin C and vitamin A and it also has a lot of calcium which is not so good because too much of it can lead to bladder stones and like I said they do not like that because it hurts them so make sure you serve it moderately <laughs> <Got. laughs> The seventh fruit or veggie that we are going to be talking about in this video is romaine lettuce. So romaine lettuce is very rich in calcium and you can feed one large leaf per pig, which is what we do, and you can feed it five to seven times a week. So that means that this is one of those healthy veggies again that you can feed the whole entire week. It's really good and they love it. And it has lots of vitamin C and it's great for daily feeding. And one bag of romaine lettuce that you can buy from the grocery store, like Walmart, it's like only $2. So it's really cheap to buy a nice big bag of romaine lettuce hearts or leaves. Some of the other types of lettuces are butterhead lettuce and there's iceberg lettuce, which is not healthy for your guinea pigs and you shouldn't be feeding them iceberg lettuce. Butterhead lettuce is kind of healthy which you can feed like once a week or so but mostly stick to romaine lettuce because romaine lettuce has the most nutrients it has more than all the other lettuces that you're going to be feeding your guinea pigs mm -hmm. The eighth fruit or veggie that we are going to be talking about in this video is parsley. So parsley is very, very, very rich in vitamin C and it actually has five times more vitamin C than in an orange. But it also has more vitamin C than a bell pepper. And it also has low sugar, which means that this parsley is really healthy for your guinea pigs. But too much of it can lead to kidney, kidney stones, and like I said before, they don't like that and that hurts them. So we feed our guinea pigs one cup of parsley, which is 10 to 5 sprigs per guinea pig. And this is 2 to 3 times a week. So you can feed them their parsley in moderation. And there are two types of parsleys. There's curved leaf parsley, which you can buy at the store for like 78 cents at Walmart. And then there's Italian flat leaf parsley, which is like these thin leaves that are not curled, which you can also buy at Walmart and other grocery stores. The ninth fruit or veggie that we're going to be talking about in this video is apples! So we like to eat a lot of apples and so do our guinea pigs. So we feed them about a half a cup per guinea pig and this is one to two times a week. Um, and 
we only feed them that much because of how much sugar it has. So you make sure to moderate how much you give them. And actually, the apple core is also very good for your guinea pigs. And they can eat the skin, which make sure you wash off. And unless you buy the organic variety of apples, make sure you, which are more expensive, make sure you wash off the apple when you buy it because it is waxed to make it look shinier. Your guinea pigs can also eat the apple seeds, but you should not just feed them the apple seeds. If they accidentally eat a few, they will be fine. But because it contains cyanide, if they eat a small amount together, they will get poisoned and they can get fatally harmed. These are some fruits or veggies that we have in our house that you probably didn't really know about that you can feed your guinea pigs. Number 10. Orange. I, I don't know what it's called. Orange rind. Rind. Orange rind! So, orange rind is good because it contains less acid and sugar than the actual fruit or the orange. So, you can feed your orange one to two times a week. And these are mandarin oranges, so they're a little small than navel oranges. And you can feed, feed the whole peel from one orange for one pig. And make sure to wash the peel because it can because the peel can have fertilizers or wax, just like apples. The 11th fruit or veggie that we are going to be talking about today is... Orman Rhyme! So watermelon rind is really healthy and you can feed it two to three times a week and half of a cup of finely chopped watermelon rind for your for one pig. But watermelon rind is high in sugar and it's harder to chew than the actual pink fleshy part. But it is also high in vitamin C. And we in our family eat a lot of watermelon. So after we're done eating our watermelon, we have lots of rind. So what we can do is we can cut up our rind and give it to our guinea pig to save waste. The twelfth fruit or veggie that we are going to be talking about in this video is... BANANA PEEL! So we feed our guinea pigs a half a cup of banana peel for one pig and this is three times a month so we eat a lot of bananas in our house house so that may not take up all the bananas that we eat but it, you can still get rid of some bananas for your guinea pigs so you're not wasting all of them but the bad thing about banana peels is that they have a lot of sugar and not many nutrients so in all they're not really healthy for your guinea pigs so you can just feed it to them as a treat not really like a meal The 13th fruit or veggie that we're going to be talking about on this video is... Broccoli! So, we, we feed one tablespoon of broccoli per pig every day. And feeding them a little bit of broccoli every day is really healthy for them because it has lots of vitamin C. But the reason we only feed them a small amount is because it's really high in oxalates. And like I said before, too much oxalates can can give your pigs bladder stones and bloating which is not which they don't like and hurts them mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
the 14th fruit or veggie that we are going to be talking about in this video is blueberries. So we feed our guinea pigs two bl two blueberries per pig t two times a week. So that doesn't seem like a lot to you, but the reason we do that is because they're very, very high in sugar. They do have a few vitamins in them, including vitamin C, vitamin A, and vitamin B6, but they have small quantities of those vitamins, which is good for them, but you don't want to feed them too many blueberries. But they also have lots of fiber, which is very good for them. But make sure to moderate your blueberries that you're giving your guinea pigs. The 15th food item that we're going to be talking about in this video is... Guinean pellets! So, you... So... You have to feed your guinea pigs about one cup of fresh fruits and vegetables a day. But with that, you also have to feed them about one eighth of a cup of guinea pig pellets. So, and the guinea pig pellets that we get have included vitamin C and lots of minerals. And they're made of Timothy hay, which guinea pigs need. It has extra vitamins and is very healthy for them and tasty, so they like them. And Timothy hay is good for the guinea pigs, so if they're going to eat Timothy hay, they, they, they should eat it because it's good because when they chew it, it will wear out their teeth. So you all, if you're giving them Timothy hay, you need to give them an unlimited supply of it in their cage. And the, the good thing about Timothy hay is that it's easily digestive for them and very chewy for them. So in addition to what we just talked about, me and my brother came up with this monthly schedule for our guinea pigs. So we took a calendar and on the dates, we wrote down what we're gonna feed them. So for example, on the first, it was a Tuesday, the first of December, it was a Tuesday. So on that day, we gave them one cup of zucchini, one cup of carrots, one cup of bell peppers, and one cup apples. And then let's say, for example, on Friday the 4th, we give them five leaves of romaine lettuce, one cup of carrots, one cup of bell peppers, and one cup of parsley. So we mixed it up and we made a monthly schedule and you can come up with your own and we'd like to see your ideas. So come up with your own ideas and show us them. We're really excited to see what you guys came up with. So we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, I hope you guys really liked this video and I hope you learned a lot from what we talked about. So if you like this video, make sure to write down in the comments below what you liked about it. And make sure to show us pictures of your schedule that you came up with. We're really excited to see those and we're really happy if you did. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and smash that, oh, that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. Bye. God bless.